Why well, hello there. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to share yet another Valentine's Day DIY with you using Dollar Tree items. This is a cute little sign that I made for my mom with the kiddos names on it. I can't wait to see her and give it to her. It's been since Christmas since we've seen her so hopefully we'll be able to see her soon. As you can see I took this love sign they're bigger than last year's which is really cool and I took the little metal heart off using a butter knife and then I went over it with my dune chalk paint I'm not sure if I should have sanded down the letters it's not like they were raised on the sign but after I painted one coat I could kind of see through um, still. So I did another coat. Um, hello Wilhelmina in the background. <laughs> she handed me a little something for her Barbies. That she, I need to sew for her. Um, so anyways, I don't know if you want to sand it down if you do do this project. Um, or just keep doing more layers. And this sign I also found from there and as you see I took off all the hearts um, off of them. And instead of using the glittery side, I just used the back. I still had to sand some stuff down because uh, it was raised a little bit. Uh, but I didn't want to sand the other side. It's so much easier if you don't even need to look at those. You just turn them around and paint them. I used different colors for like the little sweethearts uh, candy that you buy at the store. This blue... I needed like four layers of it. It was it was a very very light paint, uh, but he's purple, and then I used yellow and pink, and then I did a few different layers of those as well after they dried. As you can see, I am peeling off my vinyl. I did use my Cricut machine to type these letters and cut them out with my maker and. I am going to use my contact paper to help put them on the hearts. So once I matched up the colors the way that I like them, and that's what you will see me doing. You can also use stickers uh, that they have at the Dollar Tree for this project as well. You do not need to have a Cricut machine or a Cricut design space. They do have contact paper there that I've seen, and you can also use that as transfer paper to help uh, make it so that it's even with your stickers. Uh, but I just use my, my Cricut Maker. And you got my Liam, nice and easy. Such a simple project very cute. My mom's going to love it. I love it. I feel like I need to make myself one too. Doesn't need to say grandma's sweethearts. It could say mama's sweethearts or mom and dad's sweethearts. Plenty of different things you can do with that, with this project. Um, you know, pets. Mine can definitely go off on how many different things I can make with something. So... Once I did that, then I placed my hearts on my sign, and then I placed Grandma's Sweethearts at the top. After I did this, I wondered if I should have added a bow or something. I might still do that, obviously. It, you won't see it in this video. I have already finished it, but I know that I'm going to see my mom hopefully soon. Her birthday's coming up. Valentine's Day's coming up. I wonder if I should put one on, I'm not sure. So once you see me finishing up her grandma sweethearts with the vinyl, I now am using E6000 glue to glue on my hearts. I probably, if you want to seal the sign before you put on the hearts, with Mod Podge or some kind of acrylic spray sealer. Um, 
before just so that you make sure you get the whole board. I did it after. You did not see that in the video either. But look at that. So simple. Glue that on. Then you spray some acrylic sealer on. And it's all sealed. And that is that. So quick and easy. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time.